See you next week. Seven News is next. This is Seven News. Tonight, bullets fired at a Perth home during a drive-by shooting. A warning for Australian tourists as protests turn deadly. A plane crash that has an entire nation mourning. And another ship shock on the Barrier Reef. From the studios of Seven Perth, Emmy Kavansky. Good evening, welcome to Seven News. It's now three straight wins for the Dockers and they've just beaten the reigning Premiers. Here's how they celebrated a short time ago. More on that victory and what coach Mark Harvey has to say later with Adrian Barrich in sport. Now to a drive-by shooting in Perth's north last night. A home was hit by bullets. It happened minutes after the family living there went out for the evening. The gang crime squad's investigating. Four quick shots. Two hit the house, two into a parked car at the front. It was just after nine o'clock in Kingsley. Nobody was inside the Dalmain Street home. They missed the shooting by about five minutes. All of the bullet holes suggest the gun was fired from down the road, about 50 metres away. It was very quick and consistently, so like bang, 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 bang. Another neighbour says the shot sounded too powerful to come from a handgun. Police say it was a drive-by shooting, but one resident saw someone running from the scene, a hood covering their head. The family that lives here didn't want to talk on camera, but they told me the shooting could be a violent retaliation. The family's 18-year-old son got into a punch-up at a party two weeks ago. And heard a couple consecutive shots. I thought they were fireworks, but I came running out and um, didn't see anything, so I mind my own business after that. The police gang crime squad will investigate the shooting. Can you rule in or out that there's a gang involved? No, I'm not going to rule anyone in or rule anyone out. It's too early to tell. Blake Johnson, 7 News. Border protection officials have stopped another boatload of asylum seekers. It's the third vessel intercepted since the government announced a crackdown on visas. Chris Reason is on Christmas Island where the latest boat will be going. The president of Poland and high-ranking officials from the country's parliament have died in a plane crash. The government jet came down in bad weather in Russia. It was early morning, the fog was thick and the pilot of the Soviet-era Tupolev was making his fourth attempt to land. The promise to reduce wait times in emergency departments, that's next in 7 News, plus lucky escape. How three men survived this helicopter crash and the financial struggle to helping thousands see.